Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know what this is about. Let's talk about my thoughts and how I styled the Richie Lee collection. So to be transparent, this is not a paid video. However, Richie did send over a care package for me to talk about the pieces. There's no say this piece is good, blah, 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 blah. This is just my thoughts. I can say whatever I want, but I will be referring to Richie's video on the sizing and all the additional features with these pieces. And I know you guys are already in the comments section. You just clicked on the video. You watched one second of it. And you're already asking about my sizing. I am 5'7", I'm 156 pounds. I'm a more skinny athletic dude and my waist size is around a 29 or a 30. I know, I'm pretty small. So I don't wanna hear you guys commenting, Johnny, how tall are you? What size did you get? How does it fit? Blah, 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 blah. Hey man, how about you just do what everyone else does and just watch the video? Except the pricing, I don't know the pricing, you won't see that in the video. So is this collection hot? Well, to put it shortly, I will be on the site myself to pick up some pieces since I got most of the items in just one colorway. So yeah, the pieces go hard. You can tell Richie and Tan put a lot of effort into this. But let's start with talking about the Varsity Jacket. Varsity Jackets are one of my favorite jackets currently. Bomber Jackets are cool too, but Varsity Jackets are just a nice switch up and it's a bit of a bigger statement piece. So this one is similar to their first Varsity Jacket drop. Last time they dropped the Wool Varsity Jacket, which is pretty nice as well, but this one is made of satin. I'm rocking a medium, which is my true to size. And the sizing is a little more slim fit on the body and is really comfortable to wear. The teddy stripes are gone now, which I really liked, but it's cool. I think that actually makes this even easier to wear now. And you can just tell that it doesn't feel cheap. It's got mirror hardware and the cuffs feel nice and snug. Trust me, look at this POS varsity jacket from Fashion Nova. Hey, I know, I know, it was only $17, so I don't want to hear it. But the cuff on the sleeve is absolute trash now. It's gotten super loose and it just downplays the entire silhouette of this jacket. Now, Richie Lee's cuff is just stitched a lot better. It's more stiff and you can just tell that this is gonna last for years to come. Only thing I'm not a big fan of is the collar. It just sits a tad bit too high and maybe it's because my neck is stumpy. <laughs> But check their varsity jacket from the last drop. It doesn't sit as high. It's not that big of a deal, you know, first world problems. All right, so now let's talk about their wash tees. Now these come inside out and you can tear off the tag if you are gonna wear it that way, but I'm mostly gonna be wearing it like a regular tee. That wash look has been my vibe lately just because it gives off that rugged chill vibe and it really breaks up the silhouette in terms of color. They sent over this wash maroon tee and it looks really good. It's perfect for the spring vibes because it kind of has that pastel look, only more rugged. It does feel like this shirt has been through the washer a thousand times. And I do know that it comes pre-shrunk, so don't worry about abusing it in the washer, it's probably gonna look better over time as well. So for my tops, I am a size small for a more fitted look and a large if I want it to be more relaxed and oversized. This one here is a medium and it does fit like my large Carhartt tee, almost exactly the same type of fit. So keep that in mind. It's also got a boxy vibe as well. And overall, it's easy to layer with and it adds a nice pop of color to the fit. For me, I went with this techie look with some strap cargos, Air Force Ones and a messenger bag. With techie vibes, most people usually rock the all black look, which always looks awesome, but I layered a hoodie over this shirt to add a small pop of color to the fit. And since it's warming up and the shirt gives off the spring vibes, I could also take off the hoodie and it's just a nice regular fit. You could also cut the sleeves. I do that sometimes to switch up the look. But yeah, the wash tee is one of my favorites of the collection. Next up, we have the daily hoodie. And unfortunately I wasn't sent one, but it's all good. You guys can check out the homie Paul and his video. He did receive a hoodie and his videos are probably better than mine anyways, but let's keep it moving. Now let's talk about the denim. So earlier I did say I was a 29 or a 30 waist and I was sent over a size 32. So these do run a bit big on me. So keep that in mind if you guys are gonna use me for sizing references, but I'd say go true to size. And when you guys see the looks in the video, just expect it to be a little more slim fit if you guys do go true to size. These still come in with a nice fit though, as long as I throw on a belt. It's definitely not skinnies and it's also not too relaxed definitely an in-betweener. There will be two washes, a light wash and a mid wash. This is the light wash, I believe, and that cream wash though. That cream wash adds a really nice vibe to the fit. Your normal denim is gonna come with white threads, but these ones are actually gonna come in a cream threading. Reminds me of the minimal M1 vintage denim that was massive in 2016. Only the distressing is kept to a minimum and it just looks like you've been wearing it for a few years. Got some distressing on the hem, around the pockets, and the thigh area looks like the Monster logo. It's nice, nothing too crazy. And the fit is perfect for rocking with Air Force Ones, so because I'm short and have size 11 feet, Air Force Ones make me look ridiculous with skinny denim. So I have to compensate proportion wise for the chunkiness of that sneaker and my big feet. And that is why I wear more relaxed fit pants with them. But now I can rock it with these ones because they aren't super skinny. It's definitely more versatile than any of my other light wash denim just because the cream wash makes it easier to wear. Here we got the flannel hoodie. Amazing piece. So flannels, I was only big just because I couldn't let go of that Jerry boy look. In fact, I was roasted on Richie's channel 
by my old roommate Frugal. Like Harry Styles, mm -hmm. that look is great. If you're wearing it with zipper denim, and like a flannel and a long tee. Bro, what you just described right there was like the number one look on Instagram it's for- my roommate now. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie, that really hurt. But it was tough love, it was true. And really, I knew even less about fashion than I do now. So I retired them, I tried new things, and now we got this piece. I was sent over a size medium as well. And as far as fitment goes, it does fit a bit more oversized. It's got a more drapey, chill look, so keep that in mind. This one is the darker one with a black hoodie and a hint of orange in the pattern. I like this piece because it doesn't look like your typical checkered flannel. It's a great switch up, pretty warm as well. Normally flannels are pretty thin and don't keep you too warm. Hardware also looks good too. It's got roughed up surfaces and the sleeves have it as well instead of a button. Definitely going to be wearing this a lot. And now we can talk about my favorite piece of the collection, Cargo pants. Cargo pants are to me what Olive was to Richie. I love them. So since I have a stupid amount of cargo pants in my wardrobe, I feel like this is my area. I have like 25 pairs of cargo pants, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> These are awesome. Definitely my top three cargos in my wardrobe. I was sent over size medium. Richie wears a small, by the way. And I'd say these are more for your everyday streetwear looks. Definitely not for the techie vibes. They come with a really washed, faded look, which I really dig. The pockets are all ruffled. It's faded on the corners of the pockets. The stitching is a lot better than the last drop for better reinforcements. And the bottoms have the snap buns for that look that's pretty hot right now. Waistband is elastic and has an elastic drawstring, which mine did come with an extra pair of metal tips. We got your normal cargo pockets and a second one down by your calf area. And the fit is just like the denim. Not skinny, not baggy, just slim. And again, these are perfect for throwing it on the forces. I really like how they sit on the shoe. For this fit, I just threw them on the Union Ones and it still does sit well on that sneaker. I'm pretty happy about a medium, but I'm probably gonna go with the small this Saturday. So overall, is this collection hot? Yes, I definitely recommend picking anything up this Saturday. If you're gonna pick up something, I definitely recommend the wash tees. But yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys out. Go ahead and follow the homies in Seattle. All those links are in the description. The drop is tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for my friends in the East Coast, that's 11 a.m. Richie, Tan, and the squad, thank you for sending over this care package. And thank you for being an inspiration to the community. I'll be on the site too. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai and comment down below your favorite piece. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out. Peace.